Old Man Ven. I'm in the studio playing around, uh, just making some tweaks to Linux Weekly Daily Wednesdays, and I thought it would be a good time. Not really going to do a full video on this, just a real quick, real short uh, demonstration of why it's important to play with EQ. Get it in your mix, especially if you're doing spoken word, voice, podcast, stuff like that. And it can really help out, you know, not to really repair, but to minimize, help cover up some of the um, artifacts that are going to get introduced in lower bandwidth situations. You know, we use Jitsi, and sometimes we don't have the best connection between here and across the ocean to Britannia to um, Pedro. So um, let, let me show you. Uh, just just start out. What am I using? I use EQ500. It's an Overtone plugin. Not affiliated with them. Bought it with my own money. It was like 35 bucks. There's a bunch of great EQ plugins you can play with, which I have installed. Uh, you know, LSP, Linux Studio Project, Great EQ, X42, and uh, CAF. They're all fine. But, you know, we can take a look at, this is the overtone that I use. What do I sound like if I disable it? Well, as you might have guessed, pretty much the same. Old Man Ven's going to sound like Old Man Ven at the end of the day. Um, I just have this tuned for a little more volume. That's about it. But what I want what I want to show you is I have this queued on. Let's uh see if this control surface is gonna play nice. This is a recording from last week, uh Linux Weekly Daily Wednesdays, and I'll just give you a real quick A B. You know, it might help if I keep the plugin open. So let's do that. Let's load that up. Here we go. And um let me show this this is what it sounds like. After it's been, you know, this is processed, record, and I stream it live. You know, I do all the effects processing live. But uh, with the plans, the KDE roadmap for 2021, and they say uh, it will have um, the new fingerprint. Doesn't sound horrible, does it? And, you know, that's what's going to get recorded on the wet recording, you know, with the processing and all that. But let me give you an idea of just the difference between that and what it sounds like coming in. I mean, let me A, B that for you. So I will disable the plugin in just a second. Let's start with it enabled. OMG Ubuntu put out an article uh, with the plans, the KDE roadmap for 2021. That's disabled. And they say uh, it will have um, the new fingerprint, uh, like the fingerprint reader. So if you have a laptop with one of them, there you is. can Coming actually use that right out of the box. Um, on KD natively without having to use either uh, the fingerprint GUI that's completely separate from it or the uh, <laughs> CLI. But yeah, the that's something that GNOME has had since at least 2018. It's probably earlier than again. that, but 2018 was when I learned about it. So yeah. Only took you what? Coming in on three years to catch up on that one, KD. The So yeah, just go play with it. You can do a lot. I see a lot of people spending time trying to repair audio. First, set up, especially if you're doing podcasts, you want to do multi-track recording, so you can go back and make tweaks like this. And um, again, play around with anything. I use this because it's very, very, very simple. It's, uh, and I mean, it's kind of brute force, kind of like a broadsword. It's not surgical. A lot of the um, EQs like uh, X42 and uh, especially LSP, EQ and you know, like the 16 band calf, you get real surgical with this. And I have a tendency to do that as opposed to, you know, just getting it sound, sounding good enough at the end of the day, because let's face it, it's going to end up as a, uh, it's going to be smashed down to 128 K and P3 at the end of the day. So good enough is what I'm going for. And, you know, I'm not trying to change the sound. We'll play around with it just real quick because this video is already longer than I expected it to be. Let's run that one more time. Plans the KDE roadmap for 2021. So I can pull off. And um, they say uh, it will have um, the new fingerprint. If you want to come back down on iPhone. Like the I fingerprint reader. Up. So if you have a laptop with one of them, you can actually use like that the right out of the box um, if I wanted on to bring KDE that up. natively without having to use either uh, the fingerprint Old GUI. radio effect. That's completely separate from it or the uh, <laughs> CLI. But yeah, the 
that's something that Gnome we do has some crazy base boost. had do since at least 2018. It's probably earlier than that, but 2018 was when Ooh. I learned about it. So, yeah. Only took you, what, coming in on three years to catch up on that one, Katie. The, um... And... Yeah. The other thing is the version 5.20.5. Yep, that's the current one that's out. They fixed uh, an issue with Blue Devil that ca caused uh, Bluetooth devices that weren't paired to show up in the known. De there we go. Uh, go play with EQ. It will improve your mix, it will improve your podcast. That's it. Uh, Go check us out, patreon.com forward slash learning schemecast for more cool stuff like this. Bye-bye.